today's video, I don't know why I'm so excited, but obviously I'm, I'm happy to be here. Is Duke snorting? Are you okay? Today's video is going to be another haul video, and I asked before I filmed if you guys wanted it. You did. My eyelashes stuck. Um, I went shopping yesterday. It started out very innocently. I went with my mom, which right there, that's the problem. My mom and I cannot shop together because this is what happens. We went shopping for my daughter, and we ended up at Ulta. I saw a couple things. My mom's like, your birthday's coming up. I was going to take you shopping anyway, so just shop. So I, I shopped and I'm going to share with you my treasures. So I'm going to start with nail polish. The first things or the first polishes that I got are from OPI. <laughs> OPI. I got four polishes from their new spring line. So many people are hyping this line, but I kind of feel like I've seen all of these colors before. Is anybody with me on this train? The first one that I got is Kiss Me, I'm Brazilian. It's gorgeous, it's a beautiful pink, but I just feel like I, I have this. I've seen it before. Um, I haven't swatched any of these yet, so I can't really say anything about them. I mean, it's a gorgeous color, so we'll see. Maybe, maybe it'll knock my socks off. That's the hope. Knock my socks off, but not my underwear. I need my panties. The next one that I got is Two Can Do It If You Try. This color I really like. It's like an orangey coral color, and I, I love this type of color in the summer. So, yeah. I'm anticipating warm weather. And then I got I Just Can't Cope a Cabana, and this is the one that I really, really wanted. I love a good yellow polish. Usually the formula on yellow nail polish is crap, so hopefully this one is good because I love this color. And then the last one I got is Where Did Susie's Mango, but it's like mango. This one I love. Favorite one of the bunch. The color is so beautiful. It's not peach. It's not orange. It's kind of like a mixture of the two. And I like it. And I'm excited for it. Okay, moving on. I found the SC Spring Line, which is called Hide and Go Chic, I'm pretty sure. I picked up five out of six polishes. I didn't get the orangey, not orange, the pinky red one. I think it was called Style Hunter because I just feel like I've seen it before and I didn't really want it. So um, I got Fashion Playground, which is the most gorgeous pistachio green color. Now I did swatch all of these, so I will pop pictures up. I do have an entire review video coming on this line, so I'm not going to go too far into how I feel about them, but I'll give you a little teaser. So this one, the color is extremely beautiful. It has shimmer. It's gorgeous. The formula is awful, awful, dreadful, horrible, terrible. It's so bad. I'm going to rant about this in my video, so I'm going to leave it at that, but there you go. And then I got Spin the Bottle. This one I almost didn't get, and when I swatched this one, it ended up being one of my favorites. The formula is really good. This color matches my skin tone perfectly, so it gives you that, like, mannequin hand look that... I don't know. I was kind of digging it when I put this on. So this is an unexpected favorite. And then I got Truth or Flare, which is what I have on today. This is a gorgeous jelly formula, and it's like a bluish gray, like a dusty blue. Oh my god. Love, 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 love so much. And then I got Hide and Go Chic. This one's picking up really blue on camera, like royal blue, but it's kind of a unique shade of blue, and I like it. And the formula is really good. So this was another favorite of mine. And the last one I got is Romper Room. And this one looks like Essie Fiji. The formula is not the best by any means, but the color's gorgeous. So there you go. And that is it for nail polish. So moving on, let's start with Marshalls because this guy is just in my way. This is the two drawer organizer from Hold Everything. That's the brand. I have three three drawer organizers, but I don't have any of the two drawer and these are a little bit deeper. So yeah, 
I got that little baby. And also from Marshalls, I got the Cheering Rose Refreshing Body Mist from United Colors of Benetton. I didn't even realize Benetton was still around. They were around when I was in high school, which is when the dinosaurs walked. Um, but yeah, I guess Benetton is still around. This stuff smells amazing. I love the smell of rose. I've said that so many times, but just in case you didn't know, rose is my scent. It's my jam. It's, it's my thing. So. And it was only $5.99, so I couldn't pass it up. Ow. And also from Marshalls, I know I got, oh, I got two skincare products. They're from the brand Omshe, O-M-S-H-E. Never heard of it, but I got the Maximum Repair Night Cream and the Pure Lift Eye Cream. I got these actually like probably like six days ago and I've been using them and I really, really like them. They have not broken me out. They feel really nice on my skin. The one thing I will say, they are heavily fragranced heavily. I feel like I'm putting body lotion on my face. They smell like rose, which it's my thing, but it's even a little bit much for me and I don't mind very heavily scented things. So, so if you don't like heavily scented anything, these are not going to be for you. They are extremely, I mean, I can't even stress how strong the scent is. Yeah, there's a lot of rose going on in these two babies. Okay, moving on to Ulta. The first, oh gosh, sorry. You're going to see that in a minute. The first thing I got is from Urban Decay. It's the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Loose Finishing Powder. I got the shade Naked Medium Light. I wanted medium, but they were out of it, so I got medium light. Packaging, as Urban Decay usually is, is very cute. Was that even proper English? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I haven't used this yet. I haven't really heard much about this, but I am going to film a Get Ready With Me tomorrow, and I'm going to use all of my new makeup. So stay tuned for that, and I'll definitely use this in the video. And then from Tarte, I got the CC Matte Be Magnificent Amazonian Colored Clay Matte Collector's Palette. This, my friends, is a very unique product. So that's what it looks like. The packaging is just divine. Tarte always has really good packaging. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, is that not beautiful? This, when I swatch it, it doesn't feel like a powder. It doesn't feel like a cream. I guess it's their clay. I mean, it's Amazonian clay. It's... I've never felt anything like this in makeup. So... I don't know. I think that would be weird for eyeshadow, but I've heard a lot of people say that this is amazing. So very anxious to try this out. Definitely will be using this in my Get Ready With Me. This will be like the star of the show. If any of you have tried this, let me know what you think about it because I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of intrigued by it. Also from Ulta, I picked up the NYX Baked Blush in Spanish Rose, and I have this one today. It's a really pretty, like, mid-tone, kind of shimmery pink. Oh, let's get a little bit more, and I feel like I'm losing my blush. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's a very pretty blush, and I like it. And I think the packaging's very cute, so there you be. Oh, also from Ulta, this is from Tarte. I should have put this with the other Tarte thing, but that would be, that would make too much sense for me to do. This is the Amazonian Butter Lipstick and Watermelon. <laughs> Look at the packaging. It has little flowers all over it. it. Does this excite anyone else? So that's what it looks like. It looks extremely bright, but when you swatch this, it's kind of a sheer formula, but you still get a lot of color. I mean, it's, it's pigmented, but it's a sheer formula. That's like saying I'm naked, but I'm wearing clothing. That doesn't make sense. But... It's not a full-on cream formula. It's it's a sheer formula. That's the only way that I can describe it. And it's really shiny and glossy. So yeah, I'm 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 excited to try this. I know I always say that I'm excited, but I'm kind of excited here, people. Okay, and then I went to Walmart and I got two of the Rimmel Lasting Finish Color Rush Long Lasting Intense Color Balms. I got Boom Chicka Boom. They smell so good. They smell like vanilla cake. So this is Boom Chicka Boom. It's a, like a deep pink. 
And these feel like they're going to be really pigmented and hydrating, so I'm I'm excited. And then this is Rumor Has It, and this one's more of a red color. So yeah, I know I got a lot of bright lip products, didn't I? I also got the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, which you guys know I love so much. Everybody needs to go out and get this. It's $3. So dig out the change from your couch. It's the best setting powder for my under eye area that I've ever used in my life. Not exaggerating, not being dramatic. It is the best under eye setting powder ever. I, oh my God, it's amazing. So go try it. Oh, I forgot something from Ulta. Sorry, I gotta squeeze it in. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I got the shade Blonde. I know it looks really light, but I do have it on today mixed in with my Brow Wiz in Medium Ash, and it works. Now, I've only used it once, so I can't really give a review on it. I will use it in my Get Ready With Me. I'm not having a good brow day, so today's not the day to talk about brows with me. I had to do them three times, and this is as good as it was going to get. So... Back to Walmart. I got the Aura Brush Tongue Foam. I asked you guys if you knew where I could find this. You guys told me Walmart. I went in, I found one, and I'm so excited. I, I'm going to say it. I am so excited because I have an obsession with this tongue foam and I could not find it anywhere. And you guys saved the day and we're reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> thought somebody was coming in. Okie dokers. So guys, that is everything for my haul. Oh no, I do have two more things. I'm so sorry. My necklace. I got this at Kohl's. It's like an Easter egg just wrapped around my sweet little neck. I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I saw this and I was like, I, I have to have you. I just, I, it's gorgeous. And then I also got this really loud necklace. This is my gangsta chain. Look, but I know it looks a little bit scary, but when you put this on, you're instantly transformed into a G. I put this on yesterday. I just had like a t-shirt on and it made me look so badass. I, I, I'm in love with these two necklaces and they're both from Kohl's. I will put links down below. Oh my gosh. I'm such a player. Right, guys so that's going to be it for my haul i do have my se review video coming i'm going to film that right now but my memory card is kind of screwing with me today i just got a new one and shit's happening so anyway i love you guys thank you for watching let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think of them and i will see you guys tomorrow bye oh wait i'm sorry hang on peace today's whole video and you're a stupid person. Stupid person. I think I just cracked a bone in my body and it hurt. The formula on this nail polish is a skid in my underwear. It's a little, I sharded. I sharded with this nail polish, okay? I sharded and this is looking out. Where? I, I, you can't, you can't make this shit up. You can't. It just happens. vlogger is to buy makeup okay and my mother understands this she supports it and she she um what's the word she they always say it on intervention it's like when you help somebody like somebody's using drugs and you keep helping them you're oh what's the word you're Whew. I, I have visions of taking a hammer and smashing my camera into a thousand pieces i'm not gonna do it because i need it but you don't know the satisfaction it would bring me to just beat Henrietta to death. To death. Yes. Violence. Violence is my middle name. You are... Oh my god, what is that word? It's driving me crazy. You are... Oh my god, so how would you even look this up? I, I don't even know, but I'm going to try. What is that word? Don't be a... Not an accomplice. You are... You're letting them continue to use drugs. You are... Ah! What is the word? The word, word, the bird is the word. I said the bird, bird. I'm gonna call my husband and ask him what the word is. He's downstairs. He'll know the word. He better answer the phone or I swear to God he's gonna get it. <laughs> Hi guys! Mm, 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 mm. I'm not playing, I'm just crushing it.
he knows down here playing with his little smoky. That's what he does best. 